Um, you're all so welcome. And so I'm in my sister's studio. I'm down in Galway today um, visiting my parents. So I was just saying um, today is the spring equinox. So it's the exact halfway point between the winter and the summer solstice. And if you look at the planet today, everywhere on the planet has the same length of sunlight and darkness. It's 50-50. So 12 hours of sunlight and 12 hours of darkness everywhere. And it's the only time apart from um, in the autumn equinox that we have the same thing. So it's officially the first day of spring in a lot of countries. We have it on the 1st of February. But it is a lovely feeling because you can definitely feel spring in the air, but it's definitely not summer. So it's like we're in the, the full bloom of spring. The daffodils are up and the lambs are in the fields and all of that. And so I suppose I had this real feeling of you know, it's the exact middle, it's this balance, it's the 12 hours of sunlight, 12 hours of darkness. And so today's practice, I really wanted to focus on that kind of balance. And we were talking about, I was talking about last week, that feeling of the balance between effort and ease. And so this month, the month of March, we've been doing a lot of vinyasa flows and these classes with then breathing techniques at the end. And so the practice this morning has standing and sitting has rotation one direction and then the other let me just get my drink of water sorry and so what i encourage is that you find your balance between effort and ease that it's the amount at any stage come into um a child's pose or any pose that suits you if at any stage any of the postures aren't suiting you, we're doing some balance work as well. So let's just start with our eyes closed. And that sense of spring and this equinox, this point of balance, halfway, it's a quarter point in the year. And so cultivating that feeling of balance within us. What I absolutely love about yoga is that it brings us to a state of balance, if we're very anxious, it can relax us. But if we're very lethargic, it can energize us. And so feel and notice how you feel this morning as you sit on the mat. Because yoga is your practice. It's your experience of movement, of breath, your experience of your own self in this moment. And we apply the postures to our own selves in order to transform, to create that union between our mind, our body, and our spirit. So we're gonna do a little bit of alternate nostril breathing, wonderful for balancing the two hemispheres of the brain. I'll start slow, and then I'm going to do the breath of fire version, and you do slow, or excuse me, the breath of fire version, whichever works. So. Block your right nostril and inhale through the left. Block the left and exhale right. Inhale left. And exhale right. And keep going exactly like that or in out as a breath of fire, so in left, out right. Pull the belly in as you exhale. Take a deep inhale to the left nostril. Pause, hold, lift pelvic floor. 
Be very still, relax your shoulders. Drawing the energy up from the base of the spine, right up to the brain. And then exhale right. And let's go straight to the other side. So we'll start slow and continue slow if that suits you better. Both have benefit. Inhale right. Exhale left. Balancing the hemispheres. Inhale right. Exhale left. And please, if you feel like going slowly, please do, or else breath of fire. Inhale, inhale right, out left. Deep inhale through the right nostril. Pause, hold. Lift pelvic floor. Relax your shoulders, eye gaze, center of the forehead. Exhale, release. Just notice the effect. The pauses we take allow the body to integrate and absorb the effects. So our task is to be really present and just notice. Really nice. Let's come around to all fours. Hands beneath your shoulders, knees beneath your hips. Inhaling arch, exhaling around. And let's go a tiny bit of pace. Inhaling, exhaling, warming up the spine, lubricating the joints. Always feels great, cat cow. And so we're gonna lift one leg up. I like to bring my left knee in and then lift the right knee up, right leg up as you inhale, and then knee to nose as you exhale. If you're back, Lower back is tender, then leave the knee down or just don't go as high. Just go a little bit. Really nice. Inhale and exhale. If you're comfortable, you can close your eyes and just feel the movement. Moving with your breath. This is your time. I'm be fully present. Now take a deep inhale, lift, pause. Exhale, release that right knee down. And let's go straight to the other side. And again, I like the right knee in a little bit to the center and then the left leg up and in. Inhale, lift up, you're so welcome. Pause, exhale, drop the knee down. Really nice, take an inhale, arch. And then exhale, tuck your toes and push into down dog. And here, the first down dog, let's bring our feet really wide. So wider than the mat, really nice for the hamstrings. 
a little bit of a gentler um, stretch. And breathe. Release the back of the neck. Maybe press into the heels, firm the front of the thighs. Take a deep inhale, a long exhale. Deep inhale, a long exhale. And now bring the feet back to about hip distance and let's walk the feet all the way to the hands at the top of the mat. So feet um, mat, um, hip distance apart. Place your left hand onto your ankle, knee, or shin, right hand to your waist, and then start turning. So turn in the navel, the torso. What can be nice is bend your left knee so the leg you're twisting towards is straight, and that gives a little bit more space. Right hand to your shoulder and right arm all the way up. And as always with your neck, you can look down or up and breathe here, full inhale. And as you exhale, twist a little more. Feel the navel drawing in. One more full inhale. And exhale, twist a little more. Bring that right hand down. And let's go to the other side. So left hand to the knee, the shin, the ankle, the floor, whatever works. And left hand to your waist. Bend the right leg, left leg straight and rotate. Left hand to your shoulder and reach up or keep it on your waist and breathe here, full inhale. And as you exhale, twist and rotate. Inhale. And inhale. Last one, inhale. And inhale. Lovely hands down, hands to your shins. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, fold in, hands to your waist. Inhale, come all the way up. Really nice. And let's flow a little bit. Inhale, feet together or feet hip distance, whatever works for you. Inhale, reach up, look up. Right hand, hold your left forearm. And as you exhale, lean to the right. Stay here and take a full inhale. And as you exhale, lean a little more. Inhale, come all the way to center. Now the left hand grips the right forearm and lean to the left. Take a full inhale here. And then lean a little more. The inhale, come back to center, reach and lengthen. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, right foot back, right knee down. Inhale, reach up. And just stay here as you exhale, sink into the hips, that's it. Inhale, reach. And now as you exhale, I want you to bend the elbows and draw the arms back and behind. Leave the arms as they are and take an inhale here. As you exhale, lift the chest, lift the heart. Maybe look up, you don't have to. One more deep inhale. Exhale, lean and lift. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands down and step back to plank. Take a full inhale. Exhale, all the way to the floor. Reach back. Hook your thumbs and lift your chest, lift your legs. Breathing here. So back of the neck is long, inner thighs towards the ceiling. Shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, coming down, hands beneath your shoulders. Inhale, cobra. And then exhale, tuck your toes, come back into down dog. Full inhale, long exhale, and another one, full inhale, 
And long exhale. Left knee down, right foot forward between your hands. Inhale, reach up. As you exhale, sink in. Really nice. Inhale, lift. And then exhale, bend the elbows. Arm bones back, chest lifting. That's it. Inhale here. And exhale, lift. Maybe look up. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Stay here. Be present. Inhale, reach your arms. Exhale, hands down. Left foot joins the right top of your mat, folding in. Inhale, all the way up, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's go again. Inhale, reach up. Hold on to your forearm and lean. Slow down. Inhale, reach. Hold on to your other forearm and lean. Inhale, reach and lengthen. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, right foot back, right knee down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend the elbows, lift the heart. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hands down. Step back and lower all the way to the floor. Hook your thumbs, lift your legs, lift your chest. Exhale, coming all the way down, hands beneath your shoulders. Inhale into Cobra. And exhale back into Down Dog. Two breaths here, full inhale. And long exhale. Full inhale. And long exhale. Right foot forward, left knee down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend the elbows, lift the chest. Engage the front abdominals and navel, um, pubic bone to navel. Inhale, reach. And then exhale, left foot joins the right top of your mat folding. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. And let's add on. Inhale, reach up. Lean to one side, you can hold the forearm or interlace the hands, whatever feels good to you. Inhale to center, reach and lengthen. Exhale, lean to the other side. Inhale, reach and lengthen. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, lift your heart. And exhale, step back to plank and lower all the way to the floor. Hook your thumbs, inhale and lift up. Stay here as you exhale. Inhale, lift a little higher. And exhale, come all the way down, hands beneath your shoulders. Inhale into cobra. And exhale back into down dog. And now inhale forward to plank. And we're going to come into a side plank on the right side. So either the feet stacked, the left foot halfway forward, or one foot on top of the other, either the top foot on the floor, whichever works. Left arm up. And then as you exhale, I want you to thread it under and rotate. And inhale, reach it up. And one more time, spread it under. Good job, inhale, reach. And then let's come into a plank. Right leg rises here in plank. And then right knee to nose. Right leg back. And we're gonna bring the right foot forward as much as it comes forward, give it a hand. And we're gonna come up 
Round the back foot into warrior one. Reach up. And sink in. Really nice. Now we're coming to eagle arms. So left arm crosses underneath the right arm. And then the arms come up. So either the palm, back of the palms together or the palms together or the hands apart, whatever works, right? And then here, working into the shoulders. So lift the elbows to the height of the face and then draw the shoulder blades down your back. Squeeze the forearms. Check your hip alignment, outer right hip back. And now inhale, lift the arms up, squeezing the forearms and maybe look up. And then as you exhale, let's humble warrior come inside that front leg as much as is comfortable. Breathe here. Inhale, come all the way up and let's come all the way up and lift the elbows towards the sky. And exhale, release the arms, reach them up. Inhale, reach. And exhale, go through vinyasa or straight to down dog. So hands down, stepping back and lower. Hook your thumbs, lift your chest, lift your arms. Exhale here. Inhale, lift. Exhale, coming all the way down, hands beneath your shoulders. Inhale, cobra. And exhale into the down dog. Full inhale. A long exhale. Let's go left side. So come on to the left hand. And again, right foot halfway forward or right foot in front of the left foot or the feet stack and reach the arm up, tuck the tailbone under. Inhale, reach, exhale, spread the arm under. Let's do one more. Inhale, reach, exhale, spread the arm under. Inhale, reach, and then come into a plank. Great job, strong work. Left leg rises as you inhale, shoulders over wrists. Left knee to nose, left leg back, and then left foot forward between your hands or as close to you as is comfortable. Ground the back foot. Inhale, warrior one. Stay here as you exhale, right hip forward, straighten the back leg. And now this time, right arm from the left. Bring the hands together, whatever way works for you and squeeze the forearms, elbows at the height of the face and then shoulders away from the ears. And let's lift up into a reverse. Really nice. And then fold inside or towards the inside of that left knee. Breathing. Squeeze the forearms, relax shoulders away from the ears. One more here. Inhale, come all the way up, reach up. Exhale, release the hands and bring them straight to the sky. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hands down, step back and lower, all the way to the floor. Put your thumbs and lift up, inhale. And you exhale, stay here. Lift the legs a little higher, the chest a little more, inhale. And then exhale, release down, hands beneath your shoulders. Inhale, cobra. And exhale into the down dog. Full inhale. And exhale. Notice effect in your body, breathing and be present. Never about how far into the pose we go, but who we are, where we're at, as we get into the pose, our head present, our mind fully here. So drop in, bend your knees, look between your hands and walk, step or hop, hop up the mat. Inhale halfway. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale all the way up. Exhale, release the heart. Let's go again. Inhale, reach up. Lean to one side. Either hold the forearms or interlace the hands. Feel yourself slow down on the inside. So the movements through a moving stagnation. Inhale, center. Creating balance. But our mind is so steady. Fully present, just moving and breathing. Inhale, center. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, step back and lower all the way to the floor. Hook your thumbs. Inhale, lift up. And stay here as you exhale. Inhale, lift a little higher. And then exhale, release down. Hands beneath your shoulders. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, back into down dog. Inhale, right leg rises. And then right foot forward between your hands, go around the back foot. And let's come into warrior one. Reach the arms up and breathe and hold. Outer right hip draws in. Firm the back of that left knee. Press the foot into the floor, reach in the arms. And now left arm on the right again. So your eagle arms, whatever works, palms together, back of the hands together, hands a bit apart, doesn't matter at all. Relax the shoulders. So we're gonna come into warrior three. So this last few weeks, we've done a lot of different balance poses. And so warrior three is like airplane pose. The leg is just straight back. So come onto the toes of the back foot, keep the arms in your eagle arms and step up onto your right leg. So start slowly and then carefully find a point of balance, point with your eyes, steady eye gaze, and then extend the left leg back. That right knee can stay bent or have it straight. Shoulders down your back. And now inhale, extend the leg. As you exhale, I want you to bend the back knee and bring the back knee to the back of your right knee and bend both knees. We'll do that three times. So straighten both legs, extend. And then as you exhale, bend both knees, bring the left knee to the back of the right knee and round a little bit. One more, inhale, extend. And last time, left knee comes to the back of the right knee. Great job. Inhale, extend. And now release the arms and open them out wide. So like airplane pose, leg is straight back. We're gonna take a revolved half moon. So left hand comes to the floor beneath your left shoulder, right hand to your waist. Your toes of your left foot are pointing down. And then here, start turning the navel, turning the shoulder, right hand can come to your right shoulder and reach up or stay on your waist. And breathe here. One more breath, very strong. Bring your right hand down. Let's come into standing splits. Left leg extends up. Draw the chest in towards that thigh. Really nice. And now very slowly, left foot comes to the floor. Now, not too wide a stride, kind of relatively short stride. So not as wide as you would have for a warrior. It's called pyramid pose. And then here in pyramid pose, let's leave the left hand down, either on the floor or on your shin. Right hand to your waist, so a revolved pyramid. Right arm to your shoulder and then reach up or leave the right hand on your waist and breathe here. Turn the navel, turn the shoulders, the ribs. Take a full inhale. As you exhale, revolve a little more. Really nice. Both hands down, bring your hands to your waist and come all the way up. Ooh, that right hip is speaking, right? Let's come wide legs. So widen your stride a little bit more. We're gonna bring the right arm up, bend the elbow, 
and bring the hand to the middle of the back. So loads of options here. One option is left hand holds the elbow and that's your position. Second option is left hand comes under, hold your shirt or third option, hold your fingers. So whichever works for you, right? Everyone's shoulders are different. And so see what's gonna work. Firm your legs, inhale, lift your chest. And as you exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, come up halfway. Feel your spinal muscles working. Exhale, fold. I'll do two more like that. Inhale, halfway. Exhaling, fold. Last one, inhale halfway and exhaling, fold. Inhale, come all the way up and release the arms. So let's go to the back of our mat, left toes turn, bend the knee and come into a warrior two. So you're facing the back end of your mat, reaching that back arm, internally rotate that back leg, push into the back foot. So grounding foundation, and then this uplifted quality and then extending through the arms, really nice. So we're gonna come into half moon on this side. So right hand to your waist, and then step up onto the left foot, left hand to the floor, and right arm reaches up. The toes are pointing out to the right. That left seat draws under, really nice. And then here you can leave that right hand reaching up or reach the arm overhead and towards the floor. So lengthening that whole right side, breathing. Really nice. Very carefully, we're gonna come back into warrior two. So ground the right foot and come all the way up. Let's come into reverse warrior, left arm reaches, lovely length and reach. Really nice, back into warrior what two, reach both arms up and now bend the right knee and bring it to the floor. Great, inhale, reach and lengthen. And then exhale, straighten that front leg and fold over your straight leg. So half splits here and breathe, inhale, no rush. So using the poses to create balance, creating length, twisting all the different directions of the body and steady mind, soft internal gaze. Lovely, let's step onto that left foot. And here we're gonna bring the right knee to the baby toe side of the left foot, okay? So the right knee now is on the left side of the left foot and we're gonna sit down, really nice. So here we're in the seated pose, we're gonna take a twist. So left knee is bent, so inhale, right arm reaches and then the right hand can either, right arm can either hug that left knee or it can come on the outside of the right, left knee and revolve. See, can you get the left seat more to the floor and breathe? If this feels really uncomfortable, straighten that right leg and have the left foot on the outside of the straight right leg and revolve. Breathing. Fill up as you inhale, as you exhale, draw the navel in, twist a little more. Really nice, coming back to center. So if your leg was straight, now bend it. And so it's called eagle legs or fire log. We just want that the left leg is on top of the right leg. I'm gonna turn this way. And so if you're very flexible in your hips, this is gonna be very easy. If like me, you're super stiff, then this is a very challenging pose. And so legs, one knee stacked on top of the other, you're gonna feel it immediately into your hips. And now we're gonna slowly fold forward a little bit and breathe. Maybe the fingers creep a tiny, tiny, tiny bit more. See, can you release in the hips? Can you relax and not hold so much? Relax the shoulders, relax the jaw. 
See, can you stop gripping in the thighs? Very often, it's not by pushing and forcing into a pose we go deeper, but by releasing, softening, trying a little less hard. I'll take two more breaths here and see where can you soften. Last one. Really nice and coming up, very deep stretch into the hips. Really nice. So now lengthen that left leg long and bring the right foot on the inside of the left thigh. Inhale, reach up and then hinge forwards. And let's take a twist here. So right hand stays on your leg, left hand to the side and revolve. Inhale, fill up. And exhaling, twist. Let's take one more. Inhale, fill up. And exhaling, twist. Come back to center and fold over that left leg. Really nice. Going all the way up. So I think it was last week we did, or the week before we did Supta Varasana in our um, Flow and Mindful. So we're going to do a half version. So this right leg, I want you to bend so the knee comes back. If that's too much, then leave it with the right foot inside the left thigh. Okay, so be very careful of our knees and everyone has a different history of injury and um, flexibility or strength. So the right knee is bent. The heel is on the outside of the right hip. And then we're gonna start just leaning back. So you guys are familiar with this when we do the full version with both feet bent. So today we're just doing the half version and see where it suits you, right? So it could be onto the forearm. You might be going all the way back. Maybe it's a slow process. Really nice. Draw the tailbone towards the back of the knee. If you're comfortable, you could reach the arms overhead. Really strong. That's it. Let's take one more deep breath here. And then wherever you are, forearms, elbows coming up. Keep that right knee bent if it's bent. Step on to the left foot and lift up. So a nice stretch for that right thigh. Really nice. And then coming back down, bring both feet together. So soles of the feet together, cobbler pose, hold on to your feet and folding forward. Your elbows pressing on the inside of your thighs helps deepen into it. That's it. So you can feel much more inner thighs here working. Relax your shoulders. One more breath. Great. Now let's come into boat pose. So holding on to the back of your thighs, lift your chest. Your knees may stay bent. You may straighten your legs, see what works for you. You might keep holding on to your legs or you may reach your arms. That's it, inhale. And either stay here or we'll come down into half boat as we exhale. And we'll do three of them. So stay up or go up and down, whichever works for you, right? Two, one more. And last one, three, really nice. Come up into boat. And then exhale, cross your ankles, hands down, and step back into down dog. Really nice. Maybe once again, feet really wide, wider than the mat. And breathe here. So maybe you can feel creating balance in your body, areas of stiffness been lubricated and moved and steady your mind. 
drop in. So you know we have to do all of that on the left side, right? So we better get going. So feet into hip distance again, and we'll bring the left leg up, inhale. Left foot forward between your hands, exhale. Warrior one, inhale, reach up, hold on, I'm gonna grab this. And come up into warrior one, reach the arms and get steady here. So right hip forward, firm the back of the left knee, sink into that front left knee. Left knee opening out over second or third toes, front ribs in, reach in the arms. And now this time, right arm goes underneath the left, back of the hands together or the palms together and breathe here. Shoulders away from the ears, absolutely no rush. Just here, be with each pose. Be with your own inner self, feeling, breathing. We're gonna come into warrior three on this side, keep the arms as they are. Come onto the toes of the right foot and then step up into warrior three. So right leg extends back, left leg can have a little bend still. And then we're gonna tap that right knee to the back of the left knee. Inhale, extend, and then bend both knees. Right knee taps the back of the left knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, tap. One more, inhale, extend. Exhale, tap. Inhale, extend and release the arms and open them up. Airplane pose, so really challenging for our balance, right? And we take revolved half moon, so right hand down and the right legs pointing, the toes are pointing straight towards the floor and the hip and the knee. And then the left arm starts reaching towards the ceiling. If you have any tenderness in the shoulder, left hand to your waist. And here think of the navel, the ribs revolving towards the left. Breathe. Let's do one more really full deep breath as you inhale. And then as you exhale, revolve. Really nice. Left hand down, let's come into a standing split. So hands near to your right, left foot and reach the right leg up, draw your chest in. Really nice. And now very slowly, the right foot comes down. Remember not too wide a stride for pyramid pose. So very strong in the hamstrings. It might be more comfortable to have your hands on your calf. And we take the revolved version. So straight away, push into the big toe mound, draw the right hip forward, left outer hip in, and then right hand to the floor or keep it on the shin or the foot and then start turning towards the left. Left hand can stay on your waist or bring it to the shoulder and then reach it up and revolve. Let's do two more deep breaths here, so not long. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, twist, release the breath. One more, fill up. Soften your jaw, exhale and twist. Really nice, both hands down. Bring your hands to your waist. Inhale, come all the way up. Oh, that left outer hip is speaking to us, right? So legs wide. So other side this time. So left arm reaches up, bend the left elbow and place the hand on your lower back. And so right hand can hold the elbow and that's a lovely hold. Or you can hold on to your top, top and bottom, or you can interlace and hook onto your or hands together. Depends on your shoulders, right? What's gonna work. So inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, holding in. Let's do three, inhale, come up halfway. So arch in the back, spinal muscles active. Exhale, fold in. Two more, inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold in. No rush. Last one, inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold in. And inhale, come all the way up. 
And let's go to the end of the mat. So right toes point out, round the back foot and a warrior two. Really nice, reaching the arms from the back leg, internally rotate that back leg, externally rotate the front one, knee over ankles, reaching the arms and breathe. Really nice, we're gonna come into half moon. So step up onto that right foot and the right hand is gonna to come to the floor beneath the right shoulder. So a good two feet forward of that left foot. And then the left arm extends up. Toes now are pointing straight out to your left. If you can keep, you can keep the left hand on your waist. You can extend the left arm straight up or you can reach the arm all the way overhead towards the floor, opening in that whole left side. That's it. And breathe. See, can you open the chest a bit more towards the sky? One more breath. And now slowly, slowly coming back into warrior two. And let's take the reverse warrior, nice counter pose. Right arm reaches. Really nice, back into warrior two. And now reach both arms up, warrior one. Bend the back knee and come down into a low lunge. Inhale, reach. And as you exhale, straighten the front leg and fold over that front leg. Breathe here. So soften your shoulders. That's it. Soften your jaw. Drop in. Strong physical practice. It's really hard to move with breath without a steady mind. But constant movement also helps steady the mind. Really nice. Let's step onto that right foot. And like last time, the left knee comes on the outside of that baby toe. And then we end up sitting down. So the left knee is on the baby toe side of the right foot. And remember here straight away, you can straighten that left leg if that feels more comfortable, if it feels uncomfortable with the left knee bent. Always modify to suit your body. Inhale, right hand behind, lengthen, lift, left arm reaches. And then as you exhale, the left arm will maybe sweep outside the right knee or hug the right knee and revolve. Inhale, lengthen, spine tall, crown of the head lifting. And as you exhale, navel to spine and twist. Feels so good. Two more. Push the big toe mound of the right foot into the floor. Inhale, lengthen, grow tall. Exhaling, twist. One more. Inhale, lengthen. And exhaling, twist. Really nice. Let's slowly come back. So we're going to do that very strong in the hips, forward stretch. So keep the legs as they are. Maybe if you lift up, the knees are more stacked. It's called cow face pose or the knees stacked. If this feels excruciating in your thighs, cross your ankles instead and fold forwards. Okay, so every version is possible. Just creating a bit of... Um, more flexibility and stretch in our hips. Great, and then fold. And breathe. Maybe walk the hands a little bit more forwards. See, can you unclench? So can you soften in your thighs? Can you soften your shoulders? Soften your jaw, your tongue, your eyes. So being with the strong sensation, but a soft internally, 
not gripping, noticing, observing. Really nice, coming all the way up. And let's take the Janu Shashasana. So right leg extends, left foot on the inside of the right leg. And let's take the twist. So left hand to the foot, the ankle, the knee, the shin, and the right hand behind and twist. Inhale, fill up. And exhaling, twist. Inhale, fill up. And exhaling, twist. Really nice, come back and fold over that front leg. Relax your shoulders. Coming up the fit. Let's take one last posture here. Soles of the feet together, holding on to them, and then fold forward. Use your elbows gently against your inner thighs and breathe here. Relax. So deep breaths. Really nice. We're going to take a brief Shavasana and then we'll come to a really nice balancing breath. So lying down onto your back. And notice how after all that movement, notice the sensations in your body and the intelligence of your body now as it integrates the effects. The effects of the strengthening work with all that standing postures and balancing of the twist. And so your job here is to completely relax. Letting go of any effort. Soften your eyes, your jaw. Having that sense of dropping in, sinking. Like you can collapse in on yourself. And from that place, that feeling of expanding. Like you're expanding out into the room around you. Now take a deep breath and exhale. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. And as you exhale, draw your knees into your chest. And then let's come up to a seated pose. So we're going to breathe in strokes. This particular practice 
has a really wonderful balancing effect in the brain, the two hemispheres and the front and back lobes also. And so we're going to breathe in eight sniffs into one nostril, eight out the other, eight in, eight out, eight through both, and then we'll exhale eight sniffs to our mouth. And we'll do that about three times. I'll guide us the whole way. <laughs> you don't need to know what to do. So eyes closed and drop in for a moment. It is a little bit magic, the feeling of a strong physical yoga practice. So let's start blocking your right nostril. We'll take eight sniffs in to the left. Pause, block the left nostril, eight out through the right. Pause, stay here, inhale, right, eight sniffs. Pause, eight out left. Pause, release, eight in through both nostrils. Pause, eight out through the mouth, awkward lips. Start again, eight left. Eight out right. In right. Out left. In both. Mouth, mouth. One more round, eight left. Right, right. In right. Out left. In both. In out mouth. And just drop in. So here, perhaps anchor your attention at your heart center. You have that feeling of love, love for all those in your life.
and feel the love from your heart extending out to all those in your house. All those in your local area. Love is a state of being, that feeling of love for all beings. Bring your hands to prayer at your heart. Bow to that wise teacher inside of you. And see yourself going through your day and that all those you encounter experience the feeling of your love, that they sense it, radiating love for the rest of your day.